Okay, this video is going to have a look at some of the more complex indices questions you might get on a non-calculator paper. Now the method I would use here is to split this power up into its component parts and deal with each part separately. So we'll keep the 4, that's not gone anywhere. Now negative 5 over 2 could be written as a half times by 5 times by negative 1. And I always answer these questions in this order. I always put the fraction part first, the whole number part second, and the negative at the end, because that makes the numbers easier to work with, as you'll see. So 4 to the power of a half is 2, because the power of a half means square root. We've still got the power of 5 to deal with, and we've still got the negative 1 to deal with. So 2 to the power of 5 means 2 multiplied by 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. And we've still got to raise all of that to the power of negative 1. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So we've got 32 to the power of negative 1. And the power of negative 1, I've left this to last because it's the easiest part to deal with, just means 1 over 32. So if we use the same method to look at this question, Firstly, I'll rewrite it. I'll take the third out first, then the two, and then a negative one. So 27 to the third means the cube root of 27. So what three numbers multiply together to make 27? That would be 3 times 3, which is 9, times by 3 is 27. So 27 to the third is 3. We've still got the power of 2, and we've still got the negative 1. 3 squared is 9 to the negative 1, which gives us a final answer of 1 over 9.